Hi guys, that's us on the lesson three now, where we're going to look at access to the data that we ingested in the previous lesson, and then we're going to look at actually querying that data using Athena as the service. AWS Athena is amazing. It has saved me so many headaches over the years. It's a serverless query service built on SQL, and it's actually pressed the engine under the hood. This allows users to write SQL queries to analyze underlying data held within our AWS lake. This service has really saved me a lot of overhead over the years. Before we used to try and manage multiple EMR clusters running Hadoop and then try and let the users use an interface like Hue to analyze that data. Athena removes all that overhead and just lets the user query that data directly in a serverless way. Again, if this doesn't make sense right now, it will once we get onto the console. So just bear with me. Okay guys, welcome back to the console. I'm signed in again as that Lake Formation admin user. This lesson, we're going to use Athena to actually view the data that we've that we've created. Let's go to Athena. Athena is a abstracted Presto query engine. What does that mean? Well, it actually just means that it's going to take SQL, um, which is a declarative language, and run that against our data. If you don't really know SQL and you don't really understand about Presto or anything like that. Don't worry, this is, a, this is the fundamental basics. I'm going to take you through every step. So the first thing you have to do when you load up Athena actually is tell it where you want to save your results set. So let's set up a location. And what we want to do is actually put it into our lake. So I'm just going to go back up to the highest directory of the lake. Create a folder. Let's just call this uh, Athena results. Athena results. And that's uh Athena, spelled wrong. Athena results, capital A. And um, we're going to create that folder. So Athena results. Back into Athena. Select. And we want to go into my bucket of the lake. We want to go into Athena results. And we want to select. And we want to save. Now we can run that query. So currently in is that admin user. And that's proved that we can run this query. So if we write select, and there's not much data, so we can just do select star. This isn't best practice in terms of writing queries, but we're just trying to prove the point and get the fundamentals here. And colon. Okay, guys, as you probably just saw, I hit the refresh at the top left hand side there because that run query was still grayed out. For some reason it didn't pick up the change uh, that we'd registered the bucket, but straight up. Hit the refresh, run query appears. Now let's run that query. This only take a couple of seconds, there's not much there. And as you can see, straight in and reads the data that we've ingested. How good is that? So, you know, if you're new to Athena, you can do things like same as SQL where ID equals 61, and let's run that query. And you can see all these IDs of 61 now appear, and they're coming from these people. Right. That worked because this administrator user has permissions to view that data. Okay guys, that's everything for lesson three today. Lesson four, we're going to look at ingesting real-time data into our AWS data lake and then registering that data with the Glue Data Catalog. So join me in lesson four and until next time, thanks for watching.